So yeah. All right. Anyways, this is going to be the beginning of Encased uh, Day Two. So here we are, loading right into the game. Pretty much stopped right before leaving and getting on the bus. Uh, for I guess for the dome or leaving the dome yesterday. Uh, so all I really did was create my character and essentially start uh, the tutorial. So here we are. That is me, as you can see. I am a, so just as a recap, there are five factions in this game. You have the blues, which are your worker class. Uh, the blacks, which are the military. Uh, the whites, which are your scientists. Uh, the silvers, which are like corporate higher up uh, type things or people or psionic abilities. And then you have the orange, which are your criminals. Um, and they're all living in this sort of dome type thing. So as you can see right here, I am a silver. Uh, they're mainly like charismatic characters and they have psi abilities and uh, energy weapons or things like that. This guy right here, I think is, um, he's part of the black. He's a military guy. Same thing with this one. This is a blue, your everyday worker. Um, I think that's all of them, right? Blue, silver, white, orange, black. Yeah, that's all five. So that's pretty much everybody. Um, this guy, last time I logged off, this guy told me to come talk to him. So I'm going to go talk to him now. I'm listening. I think he did at least. Your uniform could use a wash. There is voice acting, but it looks like right here there isn't. Waiting you to give you your assignment, he'll tell you everything you need. Ask why I need to and not but not the other silver that arrived. Must be a documentation problem. Agree and proceed to the guard room. Use video phone terminal. The giant display glows welcomingly when you appear. A gray old man with high cheekbones appears and squints out at you from the screen. He leans close to the camera, his glasses glittering. My oh, name yeah. is Martin Kingsley. I'm There's, chief um, officer of Magellan Base. We were supposed to meet in person, I'll, but unforeseen circumstances second, prevented that. One moment, I'll grab your file. There are a lot of moments where the uh, the character will go full screen um, or like you'll see a full screen event going on. It looks like I'm, I might have actually rolled up. For something out of view and so this is me, if you couldn't tell, your name on the cover. even though it doesn't really Apparently, look like my character. But this is Kingsley the best portrait the I chose. He marks one of the pages with a pencil. Silverwing. Colleague, I'll be honest with you. It's crucial for me to know my managers. So I'm asking you straight. Why did you choose a career in our division? Confess that you enjoy having power over other people. Answer that you're interested in projects and challenging tasks. Explain that it's all a matter of amb ambition of your wish to make a lot of money and live a prosperous life. Projects the administrator jots down a word or two. All right. <laughs> I put that down. He sounds as formal as you. Kingsley closes the file. A lot of the text and style reminds reply. me of uh, the outer world. I learned worlds a little too. more about you. Now I want you to learn a little bit more Day about sex us. vibes. Keep in mind, this is not I can see that. speech. He assumes a serious expression. When the dome was discovered in 1971, it became a scientific and media sensation, a worldwide phenomenon, and likely the most significant discovery in the history of mankind. Kingsley drums his fingers on the unseen desk, his gaze focused somewhere beyond. I see. You were enticed here by radio advertising, telefilms, and all those interviews, billboards at every turn. 
Crotus wants the world to see the dome as a stage where something merry and fascinating is going on. But now that you're actually here, I want you to see the real picture. Okay. You can't make out his eyes behind the glare on his spectacles, but he seems to be staring directly at you. Here's the truth. Nobody was waiting for us inside the dome. It's neither a treasury of technologies nor a cemetery of the ancients. Perhaps what we're doing now is diffusing the world's most complicated bomb. Will our mission thrive? I believe so. If we work together and- He looks back at your file. I say, do what must be done. The Kingsley points at the camera. You're from Silverwing. Special requirements are imposed upon you. You must direct others whilst having no real power. You must provide an illusion of might and well-being, and be honest and wise enough to reconcile your actions with your conscience. No matter that one clashes directly with the other. Putting the folder aside, he sits back and stares at you in silence. It gets so quiet that the ticking what of is the clock can be heard through the speakers. <laughs> Kingsley sighs quietly. You were probably waiting for some boilerplate welcome speech. But I prefer to talk about real world problems. Glad to meet you. Smirk meaning Martin Chloe. nods slowly. I apologize once again for this long distance meeting. Now, as we don't have much time, I'd like to get to the point. But a shadow man. Sure, manic. you're curious why you were taking it's off device. the bus to Magellan and brought here <laughs> instead. He moves closer to the camera. I'm going to show you a short video. Kingsley's face. Here we go. This is what screen. I was talking about. I have an urgent mission for an employee of your background and qualifications. I'd have assigned someone from Magellan, but I'm short on personnel. That's why it has to be a newcomer. I apologize again for the rush, but it seems I have no choice. Martin noisily clears his throat. <clears throat> Maybe you've heard about Nashville Base. While preparing the materials for this mission, I came across a short documentary film about the complex. I think you should watch it. The speakers produce a hollow click. Purple, gray, and black spots flicker on the screen. A blurred type. The shadow of an airplane flies across a faded yellow desert. A cheery voice fills the room. Every day, our researchers uncover more and more of the dome's secrets. There is no doubt the underground structures, so-called objects, are organized according to some pattern. Though early on, the importance of the relics to scientific research was considered insignificant. The desert dims into the black of a chalkboard. The narrator continues. By 1972, however, many important discoveries had come to light in a period of only a few months and the construction of stationary research bases adjacent to the more promising objects began. Personnel moved into Ankara in May of 19... The picture changes to a chasm suffused with electric light. People... The speaker's voice seems to come from a distance. In November of 1973, a massive network of underground caves and a structure of hitherto unseen complexity was discovered in Sector C-12. Hmm. Soon afterwards, the construction of C-12 Nashville began. The camera glides through dim caverns as the silhouettes of bizarre Bad mechanisms show emerge. Colony. <laughs> Metal structures loom up from the dark, surrounded by earth-moving machines and exhausted miners wearing orange jumpsuits. The speaker continues. C-12 Nashville is an innovative research complex located atop the primary relic mining location. The complexity of this object is unique. Communications. The film abruptly cuts out and Kingsley's face reappears. The rest of this information is classified. Hopefully you get the main idea. Nashville is a very special so they place, want to find out. requiring people with both special qualifications and special clearance level. Though yours will do for your task. Yeah, I Martin get that. Adjusts his glasses. Two. So, the task. Nashville base stopped transmitting and receiving signals yesterday evening. A reconnaissance group was sent out earlier today, 
but we haven't heard anything from them yet either. The chief officer rubs his forehead. Normally, I would never give this task to a newcomer like yourself, but I just don't have enough people. You might know me in case. It is. He looks down at the documents again. Furthermore, the group was lacking someone with your specialization. I thought the mission would be quite straightforward and didn't send any administrative personnel. Now I suspect the Nashville situation may be much more complicated. Kingsley is looking into the camera once more. Your task is to get to Nashville, figure out whatever's behind the communication problem, get in touch with the group, and work with them to solve the problem. The chief officer carefully returns the documents to the folder. You notice his hands tremble slightly. Go downstairs. The truck must be waiting for you in storage. This task is urgent, but a small delay is acceptable if there's anything you need to settle here first. That is all. Any questions? Uh, no Kingsley's questions. hand reaches toward the camera. Great to hear. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, I'm just checking something. I'm trying to make sure that the, uh, trying to get the chat bot to not show. Um, oh, that's why I didn't, like, Fossa bot. There we go. Prepare yourself to leave the base defense perimeter and venture into the outside world of the dome where you must rely solely on yourself and your companions. Check your gear one last time. Go to the orange truck while waiting for you in the garage on which you will continue your journey to Nashville facility. Later on in the game, you'll be able to acquire your own vehicles, which will act as your mobile base of operations and give you unprecedented freedom of movement. Okay. So, can I open it? Don't this? touch that door. Whoa, okay. How do I go? I'm all ears. Have a good one. Wait, I thought the, the buses were down here. Move away from the door. Now. Okay. Jesus, okay. I thought they were there, though. Attention. Attention. Apparently, I leveled up. Is your character working? I don't even know, dude. I literally do not know. Skill points, 18. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it looks like even the style right here is very similar to... Uh... <laughs> very, very similar to Outer Worlds. You get a lot of XP. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think, well, I think it's more so that you work for, like, companies in a way. Or, like, like, everyone is kind of under the same, um, the same realm, I guess. If that makes any sense. Actually, I'm gonna do light weapons. Try to get light weapons to 30. Save. Like, everybody, pretty much everyone gets, like, you either choose your, your job or they assign one for you, I think. I'm not exactly sure. So, how do I get to the buses, then? I'm confused. I'm right here. Is this it? Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, you have to go through here and then go through there. Got it. I see now. Here we go again. Having a bad day? 
Squabble with the wife? Scratched up the paint on your car? Oh, why do you hate me so much? What did I ever do to you? Uh, let's save the drama. Where's the cargo manifest? I, I know what it is. I know it came from the cargo without the manifest. Manifests, he wants. Always manifests. Ah, you're a cold man, Ulf. You're heartless. Hey, did you see that storm? Hell, you want me to go back out there? Uh, those are the rules, Todd. Nothing I can do about it. Sorry. Can I just take this stuff? Run along? Sure. How can I help? Well, What's up, Todd? Hello. Maybe I'll listen to your coworker after all. Who cares who, uh, that I've got no papers? Well, bad shit shit happens. What am I gonna do? Go back. There's another storm out there. Ah, uh, it's no use. Sympathize, you're being sent out on the road to Nashville. Care yourself, Dora. It was nice chat. I'm all ears. Have a good one. Okay. Craft something, fire post, interesting. Dead insect on trailer? What it, what? Oh God. There's a huge disgusting dead insect lying on the trailer. It's most closely resembles an ordinary cockroach. Dude, what if we're tiny? What if, what if this dome we live in is like, uh, um, shoot, what's that thing called? Like when your honey has shrunk the kids. Like, what if we're tiny and we're actually in a snowball, like Christmas snowball thing? Perception allows you to notice a lot of small details and numerous ragged holes, ragged holes in the shell. Uh, hello, soldier. Yes, administrator. While the cockroach is still here and the truck is still blocking the loading zone, ask where the report on the fulfill task is ready. Demand a report on the spent ammunition weapons. Demand needs to submit a request to report the dead insect to the, uh, for a laugh as soldier really filled out form number 27. Manor report on the spent ammunition. Yes, administrator, don't worry. <laughs> oh man, we lost reputation with them, I guess. MM truck, Jupiter moon car. Open the door and get in. Look in the window. You look inside. Here, the car is upholders in grayish blue, empty cans. Open the door and get in. Plop down on the soft seat. Look in the driver's side mirror. In the back seat. Examine the dashboard. Look in the glove compartment. Get out of the car. I don't want to take the car. I want to take the bus. Wait, what? Where is the bus? I'm so confused. Where am I supposed to go? Quest complete. Series of strange events. Uh, my story. Craft quests. Radio contact with Nash Nashville was recently lost. My story, 71. You've been in accepted into the ring, blah, 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 blah. 15 minutes of ascent. Uh, newcomer con con board. Martin Kingsley, director, wants to talk with you. Contact him by video phone. Your immediate supervisor told you the assignment to has to wait. He has an urgent task for you. So then we go to this, set a single urgent task. But first, he asks you to watch a brief informational video. Attention. 
uh, existence of special facilities, blah, blah, blah. There's something for, uh, peculiar going on with one of these places. Radio contact with Nashville is recently lost. Okay. Did you start a side quest? No. Well, I did actually. This one's a side quest. Six relics lying on the tables in the storage area. Copy the scan data to notebook on the same table. I mean, maybe we are supposed to leave this way. <laughs> Crack the trailer. Come on, don't be shy. Clara and I'm Thomas going to Nashville, right? What's her name? How do you feel? Do you mind if I smoke in the car? Ask her what she knows about the C12 Nashville. Heavy duty driving, answer not available. Climb into the cabin and plunk yourself down on the passenger seat. Are we going then? Should we, uh, should probably go now. The roads are bad. Very little asphalt, dirt tracks mostly. God willing, we'll have, we'll be there before the storm hits. Mind if I turn the radio up a bit? Do you like music, blues, gospel? I, for instance, like. Right. Here we go. It's just the beginning. It says. I guess that's us traveling right there. <laughs> oh, my arm is so itchy. It's starting to get itchy. The highway leading to C-12 Nashville is blocked by an anomalous storm, and you're forced to detour over a mountain pass. Sparrow oh. lifts up the hood and thoroughly examines the steaming radiator. The engine's boiling, so we'll have to wait. You do know what happens when a car boils, you want right? To the, the blue working. shuts her mouth abruptly and <laughs> stares anxiously at the, the dark hydrate. funnel cloud. I actually just on took the a drink too. Now that you're on higher ground, it's clear that the storm has overtaken a fairly large section of road. It will be difficult to pass. Morgan turns on the radio. The air is filled with white noise and distant, barely audible voices. Clara shakes the device, then shakes her head. See? The radio isn't working either. The blue looks at the engine again. We wait. As soon as it cools down, we'll go. This storm worries me more, but it's not an insurmountable problem. I heard there are some relics Doggo. at the local gas station that protect against anomalies. Ah. You could even accidentally step on one out here, they yeah, say. Yeah, I've only done one action combat. Mysterious like, are the section ways of the Lord. Let's go to tell more about the relics. Your companion perks up a bit. She seems to be interested in this subject. This place Have is registered as a resource no. anomaly zone. Do you I know, know what that it, is? Though. It's when the relics mined there have been studied and deemed useful. SN anomaly storms like this one find out interesting. The blue looks at the storm once she sighs and squirms. Morgan thinks for him. Okay. I'm going to Oh, gas station is that way. Let's go down this way. This area is actually pretty big to explore. Roadside picnic staging post. I like how you can see everything from the beginning. Take my money. Oh, Manny Padney Hum. Oh, I feel my chakras opening. Mm. Search the trash bin. that money he commissioned turret another trash bin um i think that i think so you can try uh doing lurk exclamation point lurk oh. 
Knock, knock. Oh, God. Whoops. Yeah, no, it looks like it's still working. Who the hell goes there? Come on in, since you're already here. A weird, scruffy old man with a matted beard is Hog. sitting in front of the <laughs> checkout terminal. The badge on his blue jumpsuit is long since bleached away. With a groan, he picks up a magnifying glass and peering through it, begins poking at the keyboard with one knobby finger. The old man angrily sets the magnifying glass aside. A grand master? You're a piece of junk. He raises his head to squint in your direction. Eh? What do you want? I don't advise eating here and there's nothing to buy. And either way, we're closed. The shopkeeper rises. The old man throws up his hands with a scowl. Oh, then go fix it. Melville reluctantly points a crooked finger at the front door. <laughs> go out there and walk over to the gas station. There's an anomaly, a tree. It's glowing. And there are some oh. golden thingies hanging off it. We make special devices from that fruit called anomaly protectors. Should one be laying around on the floor, go grab it, then put it... After a little digging, he pulls out a little key on a shoelace. Only take the device, you hear? It's company property. I should be charging you myself, as a matter of fact. Okay. Cool. Nice guy. Broken toilet. Is it? Don't tell me I'm gonna search the toilet. Oh god. Oh, okay, we used it. True survival simulator. <laughs> Sound of running water. Waste bin. Trap discovered. Scavenger trap. Relieved. Small amount of radiation has been purged from the body. I have 15 minutes left of uh, that large container. I think the large container is on the second floor, if there is a second floor. Or maybe on the roof. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the roof. That's weird. You can, like, read it right here, but you can't go click on it. Flower pot, some combons. All right, let's talk to oh, her. Good day. Him. What logical and undoubtedly correct answer is this? The dome vibrates out of sync with the universe. My name is Rabindranath Krishnawaskimi. Swa Swami. Swami. This is my sister, Swallow. <laughs> okay. Uh, look more closely at the twosome. Paula rubs her neck against the table's surface. Absolute peace written all over her face. Weighs slightly on the couch, weaves in an invisible pattern in the air with his fingers. Two have taken drugs to knock out an entire Blackwing squadron. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see why. Consciousness doesn't widen itself. You have to help it along. It's just very good. Deep spiritual dissuasions. Discussions, you know. Report this violation to authorities. Calm down. It's okay. They can wind out their consciousness as much as they want. Why should we depend on rational knowledge? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Where's the gas station at? Is it over here? There's a toolbox right there. Let me see if I can get that. I know there was a ladder up here. Chronos transport points. Take off. Yes. 
and that a little bit of looting else in this book is also true cyborgization of the soul with assistance from machine intelligence. yeah you can kind of see some stuff on top it's weird that you can see all the names of items even though you're outside crap discovered So these are full of traps. What the heck? So much information, literally. Where is the gas station? Is that over here? Yes. Canisters. More canisters. Some boxes. This kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, uh, crap, that other game that I didn't like, but now it has full voice acting. So at some point I'll probably revisit it. Oh, nice. We have a shovel now. I actually needed one of those at the last area I was in. The empty, empty. Okay. So it looks like the white stuff or the white names are like items you can open and take things from handful of earth too slow for that for your liking i can definitely see that i did not even see this person sitting here Howdy. what the heck it, it reminds me of uh disco elysium that's it that game was pretty slow at some points here's my thing though and I'll say this again, I'm I'm enjoying it for the aesthetic and the story and the choices so far, uh, but I do hope it picks up a little bit too. Um, I will also say that I did get this game from the developers. They I requested it through Keymailer and they approved it. So I did technically get it for free as well. But, um, but yeah, it's a great game though. I said I would play it, and I, here I am, and I'm enjoying it so far, so. Uh, Marvel Ad didn't say it's an insanely interesting job. Fiction, get him to talk. You suspect the relic dust isn't the only way he makes his living. Even the orange is squeamish about this shit. It's hard to, to get, although it's good money, Labs. Is there anything interesting around here? Oh, there's some interesting stuff. Uh, machinery doesn't last long in this area. It's only parts like this where it's hard because you have to actually read and it's like paragraphs on paragraphs. I hope to see you again soon. Me too. Fly barrel. In there if I were you dead end job and we're in here now your personal box paragraphs on paragraphs you mean inversion true technically <laughs> I guess you could say that. Are they saying that we're gonna make this like a home or something? Hatch to the basement. Well, I think that's outside. Yeah, it is. 
blue. Alright, let's try going into the basement here. Oh god. Oh god, we're taking damage. Oh Jesus, I'm about to get out of here. Oh wait, unless if that's not me, it says disfigured body. Disfigured body takes minus one. Maybe that wasn't me. Wait, this guy is gone. Uh oh. Chemistry workbench door. Or where is this gas station? I'm so confused. Jupiter moon car. Where did this thing come from? Where did this guy come from? Wang Choi? Them in the car. Here's the deal, guest. You and that old hogger behind the counter. Both gonna chip in our gas and maybe I won't stress test your skull today. Tell him you dislike the lone man at the gas station. Would be happy to waste him yourself. Ask him for 20 minutes to pinch the deal. Canister, give him the gas canister. Ask 20 minutes. Pinch the deal, but no monkey business. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> Is it safe to go to this bonfire? Bonfire and cooking pot. Yum. He did ham. Wait, so what is the gas canister? Is that just the gas that we like the gas? Like that's it? We we didn't run out of gas. We we we're having issues with our thing. Here it is. Um. Oh, we have two of them. What? Sure, dude. Arrow of chemicals. Oh roger, god. Roger. Oh god. Yo, uh Arido Gaming, thank you for the uh follow there. Appreciate it. How you doing? Do scan. Oh god. Crap discovered that there's a junk rat back there. Uh I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a minefield. Uh oh. Oh god, no 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 radiation. Never mind. How do I tell how much radiation I've taken though? Maybe character. Encumbrance radiation. Oh, okay. Oh. That's fine. 
We gotta talk to Clara again. Clara Morgan. Yeah, I'm a little confused on the Clara objective too. briefly looks up from poking around the engine. So, how's the situation? Sure you don't want some nuts? Water, maybe. Ask the her blue about your mission. unscrews a nozzle from under the block, examines it, then screws it back in place. Huh? The mission? I missed that part. Sorry. Kingsley told me to take you to your group. They've lost connection with them. You don't know anything about that, do you? The woman distracts herself from the repairs for a moment. It was what they call a divine providence. I wasn't content with my life. Felt like he was putting my faith to the test. I was angry with him and wished he would send me a miracle. See. She stares past you into the distance, her face radiant. One day, I suddenly realized the Lord had already shown me a real miracle. My false pride made me think the miracle should be for my eyes only, but it was for everyone. Clara fixes her gaze on you. You see? <laughs> yes, you do. We are all witnesses to a great miracle. She falls silent, but can barely contain her. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's check our quest then. Stumbled upon a gas station. Okay, here we go. Uh, told you the device is called an anomaly protector in the basement of the gas station and gave you the key to the basement door. Oh, that's what that guy gave me. Okay. There's an anomaly protector that we need in the basement of the gas station. How, can we talk to Kojo? Hey, yo, Kojo. Speak quickly. I'll come here for chick chat, so knock it off. All right, never mind, never mind. Hey, Hans Loken, Hans Ooh. Loken. Ah, nothing from you either. All right, what about you, Richard Presley? Why are you bugging me? Get the let let out TikTok times a wasting. Tell me you just like the old man in the gas station, so you're ready to chip in and say that you better got a better idea. Uh oh. Yo. Get the let out, pal. Tick top. Time's a wasting. Inside the car, we got two more stops to go. Oh. Okay. They left. Alright, I'm gonna go to the basement again. I thought there was like a specific tree or something we had to go to, but I guess we're okay. So down here, it just looks very sketchy. That's all. There's boxes. Isle of paper. Ventilation. Shaft. Oh, not in the firing rate. What happens if I go through this? Oh, whoa. Uh oh. Um. It's barely going to do any damage to him. Suspect something. I can't do anything else. Yo, what's going on, Kenny? How you doing? Oh my god, what the? Wait. I'm fine. The heck? Uh. I teleported him over there. Not enough action points. Oh, wait, maybe I have to shoot the barrel. Size shock. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Oh, God, that hurt me. <laughs> Not a smart idea. Warrior. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, does he heal from that? What happens if I move him right next to this thing? Right here. this bad idea oh my god you stupid thing what happens if I go through this Funny, that actually worked. Oh, no. oh wait. Oh my god, it blew it up. Alright, I'm about to reload. Because I hurt myself really badly. <laughs> uh yeah, let's do this one. I hurt myself to begin with. So, this restarting is a better idea, I think. Multi streaming now, I see. Yes, indeed. Indeed, I am. We are live on three platforms right now. Oh, God. I have now have toxic corrosion. Is there any. Oh. Is there? What is this? Pipe wrench? Mechanical? Glue? We have some comic book issues. Rad force radiation is negative. Scanner. God, I'm getting injured. Yeah, unfortunately, Twitch affiliate also includes it. Now, a lot of people say that, yeah, of course, they're not really going to like fully enforce it, you know, but from everything I've been seeing, it's like if you're really going to do it, then like don't risk it because down the line, like say if something did blow up or whatever like if it could be a pain basically so i was like i'm gonna give it a shot oh my god so yeah that's one of the things i didn't like about uh affiliate for the longest time like yeah it's cool to have and everything but um you know, like subs and all of that but like you're really limiting yourself by so much so i figured why not oh god i'm about to die again i think the only way i can kill this thing is by using the explosive barrels But I can't be too close to it myself. Is there any way like I have like something that gets rid of these? What about like my gun? If I use my gun. Energy damage. Fire. I missed. Let's 
stealth uh, allows you to steal a move without being detected by your opponents while in stealth mode. Watch the detection indicator displayed above the character. So this thing right here. Nice. Uh, can I search this? Okay, let's leave. So we got the tree thing. The di uh, device in the basement of the gas station gave you the key to the basement door. This thing, right? Brass apple relic. The apple of Eden. Big box. What's in the big box? Harpoon. Supply barrel. Whoops. I think that's all the way in the back. Mind controlling now? Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, we can't make anything. <laughs> Rifle cart, yeah, got not. Did I go back and give this thing to the the dude at the desk? With his gang problem solved, Melville is visibly more hospitable. I'm sorry for bitching at you, sweetheart. My mood hasn't been great this last couple of weeks. Would you like some coffee? Because I could. Uh... The old man takes off his plastic leg and wraps it on the counter. Hey, anybody want some coffee? Coffee, come on. The old man sighs in sadness. <sighs> what life? I'm an old man. Life, <laughs> my ass. Badge. You can't tell if Aaron is coughing or laughing. Well, it's seething with life. People come and go. White wingers hanging around the swamp. One such fella came along today, walking around poking things with that scanner of his. Doesn't shake hands with people. What kind of guy is that? The old man leans close and continues. What else? Well, sometimes bandit. The old man scrubs his bald spot. <sighs> That'd be my stand-in, I think. And here I reckoned he'd gone and quit on me. Could smell the stench from the cellar. Thought a rat croaked down there. Listening to your story, he shakes his head in amazement. You say it didn't even look like a person? Oh, I had a bad feeling about this place from the start. Huh? The blue grunts like a goose. Well, I cook for myself here. Hey, sweetheart. Wait a minute. Hold up. He looks a bit confused. Hey, sweetheart. I just, uh, oh. I was thinking. Oh, really now? Oh, I wanted to thank you. <laughs> Maybe we could go on a picnic. Uh, yeah, picnic, sure. Let's have a snack, sir. Aaron he smiles. needs a friend. His expression is both silly and sincere. Look, there's a cliff nearby. Lovely place. I say he's going to try to eat me. Pot already there. A comfy piece of tarpaulin, too. And the logs are alive. Even got little bottles stashed away. Melville grunts, reaches under the counter, and pulls out a bulky bag smelling of onions. The old man lays out the bag's contents oh, 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 on the counter. Yeet. Canned <laughs> pork, onions, eggs. What's a picnic without Oh, uh, that's true, that's true. Yeah, it I'm is a cliff. You my family recipe not wrong, food. not wrong. <laughs> First, you have to boil the eggs, and then... Gesturing excitement. I'd cook it myself, but... I'm sure you can do better. Mevel's uh, see recipe. The stove over behind me? Here's the key. Go ahead and cook. Oh, he's going to tell me how to cook. Whoa. Open with Melvin's key. I will in a second, but let me check all this stuff first. There's also another hatch to the basement. Oh, there's a bunch of bodies down there. 
Janitor's gear. Level three. Let's use the sink. Bridge. Pile of paper. Supply. Now let's use the kitchen stove. Uh, what's Melvin's thing? Only available. Old pork. Is that it? Open up the picnic. Old pork following Melvin's family recipe for the picnic. Okay, it is the pulled pork. Craft one. I try going into the basement. What happens? Military grade equipment. Or med kit, I mean. Nothing there. There's a rat scratching. Pipe. on the pipe something in response oh god a rat's nest <laughs> okay uh, yeah take that you vermin we disturbed the rats Uh, the music for the combat is like very like underwhelming you think it would be kind of like a doom 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 you're in combat doom doom but it's like ah here's some lo-fi lo-fi combat music and it just stops a rat eye, a rat foot. Ah, beautiful. I love it. Wait, put on? Put it on? It's a gas mask. Our uh, encumbrance is pretty high up there. Hardboard. Bridge. There's another rat. Incredibly invasive. Sorry, mister. The day is not your day. taken care of so many items you can carry finally something you can kill true it's literally only like the second time I've ever been in combat yet too stack of documents ammunition box I'm hoping the game picks up a little bit. Kind of makes me want to play uh, Celasta again or go back to that. Right, let's get to the generator. What happens? Can't use right now. It requires text one. That's why. Okay, back upstairs. We made the guys uh, food, so. So, yeah. Let me check, uh, okay, let's save real quick. Now I saw that I got some like DLC or something for this game, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check what that is. Thought I did at least. It like came with something cool. Store page.
Browse all. Running gun kit. Get more Cronus employment, get unique boots and exclusive heavy pistol to make your life easier under the dome. Portrait pack. What's this? Get more portraits? Huh. Oh, I think I have some of these actually. Oh no, I don't. I don't. I thought I had that one. RPG soundtrack. I could have sworn it came with something else. I, for, I forget though. Can you see this jellyfish? What other um yes. what other it games did they make? Like Reminds me of a game called Transitor. Like Dark Crystal that Games. So Let's see. That's pretty good review so far. Oh. First game. I guess. On here at least. Prime Matter, how about that? Uh, oh, they also published Kingmaker. Oh, and uh, okay, cool. Have some uh, good, good like indie or double A games under their uh, belt. Also wanted to always play Pathfinder. The new Pathfinder is out. But I have other stuff <laughs> so much, and that's like a deep, deep dive of a game. Same though with uh, Pillars of Eternity. All right, then you tell this guy that we made this stuff for him. Aaron stares into his screen and mutters to himself. <laughs> he notices you. Ah, it's you. Well, come on, come on, speak up. What do you want? Say so he made some pulled pork with Melvin's Squinting skeptically, recipe. Aaron takes a piece of pork and tries it. Well, what do you know? That came out pretty good. One second, chat. I need, I need to figure out what I'm having for dinner. He lowers his voice. There's that guy with a rock, the white by the swamp. And those two hippies. Ask them if they want to sit with us too. If you got anybody else in mind, call them too. More people, more fun. Invite the others to the picnic. Oh, so everybody's gonna get, be there now. Wow, we are literally having a picnic. Wait, is that, wait, is that our objective? Oh, who do you want to invite to the picnic? Oh, never mind. Okay, he's already over there. You know what? Let's invite these people. <laughs> these people just chilling oh, right here. Hello there. They sit with us. Ask her if she wants to go on a picnic. Are we going? Uh, why is she called Swallow? He has a tattoo as well. Show us your tattoo. You really like it. Glad, thank you. Move I hope away. to see you again soon. Yo, what's going on, Legend? How you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, my friends. And welcome. All right, we got it. We got to invite Clara. Good, are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, happy Friday. Hope everything is going well with you Clara and everybody else. Briefly looks up from poking around the engine. So, how's the situation? <laughs> sure, you don't want some nuts? What? Uh, I have some here. A weird old man from the gas station invited you to on a picnic. You see doubt in Blue's <gasps> eyes. I don't know. Try to convince her. Clara looks hesitant. But we're on a mission. She wipes her hands with a rag draped over the truck fender. All right, but not for long. We'll do it in half an hour, right? Yes, picnic. Everybody's going to the picnic. Oh, let's ask uh, Travis too. This this dude. It's gonna be fun as hell. Well, at least for me. Why is that? Get over here. 
play in my sister's house because my brother-in-law is going to do the Greetings. one chip challenge. Interesting. <laughs> That's fun. Invite him to the picnic. Sure. Why the hell not? Bye bye. <laughs> we actually invited everybody. Wait, there's a Theodore McCrady. Who's that? He's back here, apparently. McCready? Sir, who are you? Glad to meet you. Then your hand for a handshake. I'm gonna do that for you. The property is substan substance. Haven't been studied thoroughly in your suit's defense. I appreciate your readiness to give full life for science. Your life for science, but it's simply not worth it. Ask if you'd like to go on a picnic. Yeah, why not? I'll be there. <laughs> okay. What are you doing near the slum? He's from. Oh, he's going. He's from the place where I'm going to. Confirm where they fused this hypothesis. I see the behavior in the uh, party. Let's find out more about the lights. Ask if he submits the committee's actions. Ask if he knows anything about the site you're to mission departure. Nashville. Of course I know. Listen, you're damn lucky. Nashville is a real treasure trove, and it, it's a huge excavation topped by a three-level complex. Oh, it's just a joke. You're quoting him in agony. Sugar helps get rid of the burns more than anything when he cracks. What? What? Okay, I'm gonna have to ask. What is the one chip challenge? I don't know about that. To be honest. When you eat a super spicy chip. Ah. Bye bye. Oh. All right, let's go to the picnic now. Look at that. We got a whole the whole gang together. This is not the type of game I would expect to have a picnic. <laughs> Wait, there's a Jupiter Moon car? It's all the way back there too. Uh, over 1 million Scoville units or something. Jeez. Trip is black and it's a Carolina Reaper, I think. Interesting. Leads you to the cliff carrying a battered old hamper with some chip pla chipped plates inside. With the cunning small Aaron reaches out from the fallen tree and takes a dusty bottle of scotch. With the coals of the exit expiring campfire and the flames reluctantly blaze up in response closely at the bottle finish the lighting fire and sitting closely at the bottle him in the plates seems to have calmed down a bit hey sweetheart are you gonna be sitting there or what get that pork out i'm starving over here he <laughs> he <laughs> uh you gotta give it to his recipe is as appetizing and smells delicious. Speaking of uh, smelling delicious, I'm ordering a sandwich real quick. The only question is what kind of sandwich? And the chips come in a mini coffin shaped case. How many chips are there? I collect of yours. Okay. Technically, yes. Do you like it? Oh, wait, what?
Well, there's plenty of them, but there's only one chip that's... That's why it's called the one chip challenge. Oh, okay. Uh, comes with... Got it, jeez. Picnic's coming to an end. Melvin limps over the edge of the cliff. It spits over the edge. All right, I'll wash myself, put your dirty plate aside, and leave. Shit. Strong stuff. I'm so hungry after that. What? Oh, everybody is. <laughs> Vigorous, upbeat, and tipsy, mild alcohol intoxication for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, this guy's a silver? I didn't know that. Glad to meet you. Hope to see you again soon. All right, so now that we had our picnic, the vice called that and gave you the key to the basement door. So now that we have this, what do I do with it? Oh, equip it. Okay, let's go back over to Clara and see if uh, he says anything like special. Now that I have it equipped. Clara briefly looks up from poking around the end. Answer not available. The car's going nowhere until the engine cools off. Clara briefly. Help. Help. Um, my story. Oh, on anomaly protectors. One of them is basement of the gas station. I thought that's what I had. Glowing relic. Mr. Melvin, Mr. Melvin, sir. The old man's face. I guess we're going back into the basement. Go into stealth mode. Oh, maybe it's by the tree. Maybe it's in this container. I swear to God, it is. Seven. Thank you for the follow there. Now we have this thing. Now we got it. So now what do we do with it? We have this. 
Do I equip it? Maybe I just take it back to her. Ah, good old Haas. Haas bot. Clara briefly looks up from poking around the engine. So... A vague smile appears on the blue's face. Really? That's good news. We could have been stuck in here for a long time. You open the hood. Clara sets up the device between the cylinder block and the fuel pump. Nothing happens at first. But then, the small sphere clicks and a network of thin cracks appear on the surface, from which thousands of flat, pink roots emerge. They spread all over the engine and darken before your very eyes, assuming a metallic texture and shine. You exchange glances with Clara. The blue crosses herself silently. She gently touches the relic and forcefully slams the hood. Sitting behind the wheel, Clara nods to you, inviting you to get into the cab. Done. Let's go. See whether this gizmo really helps against the storm. All right. Uh, let's do it. Nice. Making some progress. Some progress is good progress. As you approach Nashville, the realization hits you that something is definitely wrong. The boom at the security checkpoint is up, and the turret indicators are glowing red. The automatic guns beep and direct their gun barrels oh at your vehicle. You and Morgan exchange concerned looks. Uh, order to step on the accelerator and reach the entrance. A death proof 30. Clara oh, floors it. The engine roars as the tractor truck speeds past the turrets go, go, and go. the danger zone. The road turns left, and you're on the main road leading to the complex. There are bodies everywhere, but no visible survivors. Morgan crosses herself and whispers a prayer. Through the smoke filled air, you see the red lights of a new batch of turrets taking aim at your vehicle. Getting you through Morgan, throttle. pale as death itself, obeys you and floors it. The vehicle reaches a fork near the main entrance to the base. The concrete walls are covered in bullet holes and surrounded by blood, fire, and bodies shot to smithereens. Struggling not to vomit, the blue squeezes her face into the wheel. She's not praying anymore, just whimpering quietly. Good Lord, good Lord. Another set of turrets greet you at the central entrance with warning beeps and a hostile red light. Uh, drive to the left beyond the crag to the parking lot for light vehicles for tractor trucks. The truck skids, trucks. bypassing the turrets and sliding into the parking lot. Fortunately, this is outside the turret's firing range. It happens if you hit back. Uh, you can just see what Clara happened. opens the door and falls out of the truck with a groan. You also climb out. Sitting beside the truck track, you lift your head to see Nashville ablaze. Black smoke billowing overhead and intertwining with the maelstrom above the station. <gasps> it whirls slowly and majestically. Hundreds of tiny green lightning bolts flashing silently in the epicenter. Clara lifts her eyes to the sky, mesmerized by the whirlpool of clouds. We need to scout the surroundings. You nod in agreement. Morgan is right. It's time you figured out what happened here.
One second. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's a manhole right here. What the heck? So we made it to Nashville, but now, uh, where are we at? I'm right here. Oh God. Oh, we just go straight into it. <laughs> I was gonna wait, but okay. Hold on. Can we go back up and talk to her for a second. All right, Clara. Hey. Oh, hello there. Mine are both of you alive, so everything will be all right. So I fire up the engine and drive straight for the entrance. We do ask her. Suggest she wait while you handle the turrets and get help till you have no idea what to, what to do. I'll be praying for you. Okay. Oof. Boxes. So do we actually see the turrets? Ah, uh, we do. Okay, there's one right there. Unbelievably accurate. Oh God. Why do we always hear a dog? I wonder if we can get in and like hack the turrets and turn them off. Huh? Eh? Meh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? What do you think? Huh? Oh, I didn't see the uh, manhole. Add her to main alley. Great transport. Okay, let's try going down here. Door to the repair team. Well, there's enemies down here, large enemies. Ladder to loading dock. Shattered door. Uh. Door. Trapping. Like, can we actually break the door? The shattered door, you would think that it would break easily. Tool required insufficient ability or score required ability rank. Wait, maybe I can use this one. Electric rock lock picking. Oh, there we go. Fatigue. I think I could have just walked around. Okay, now let's try that. Can we do that again? Oh, man. Trapping allows you to quietly install a bear trap. Damn it. Cryogenic resistance. Damn. Can't get inside there. 
light vehicle, main entrance, loading dock, myself, generator, transporter, that. Maybe to the generator? Maybe that's a good area to go to. Maybe if we turn off the generator, then they won't have power? Toolbox. Generator. Ammunition box. Silver wing employee dam. Okay, well do not come out of that one. You get wrecked. Nothing to make there. I going down here. Weird, I can see the water each time. Loading dock note. Let's go read the note. Oh, and a ventilation grate. After you yeah, know, leave it in a conspicuous, conspicuous place. Many newcomers have joined our team lately and not known uh, a habit. It's to be used under my supervision only. If I have discovered any secret copies of this key, it means someone is getting fired. Uh, we need the access key. I mean, I can kill the roaches, technically. Moves its whiskers. Hissing sound. He don't go that far. Oh God. Ouch. Ouch. Uh. Can I heal? I have seven of these. Seven med kits, really? Ouch. Bruh. Please. Suspect something. does 14 to 18 this is does 14 to 18 one two cockroach egg Bruce Bruce uh what is that Damn and head of corpse. It has like a fist icon on it. Why? Oh, maybe we should have set a trap in that last area. Like when we were in that basement. Technically, we could have set a trap for uh, 
other things. We can go to the light vehicles parking lot. See if it's any better right there. Main alley. Main alley checkpoint. There's an ammunition box. Grab that. Oh god. Uh, there's some animals right here. Wait, wait, I think we have a level up. Oh, and perks. Do we have anything when it comes to... Okay, so we do have tech. Gunsmith, repair, thrower wrench, robot, robot, science, influence. Muscle six. There's muscle. I think that's one of these. I feel like I should get some medicine stuff too. Yeah, let's do medicine. There we go. Fair state. Good. Survival 25, really. Science. Alright, let's go for tech now. Save that. Perks. Uh, fortune. Sunchild, badass, are in good health, 50%, the, you instantly gain the next level, a leg up, high tech enthusiasts, all companions, high tech skills are plus 30, precision, plus 10 when at full at health, chef, loner, observant, three skills, skill points per level. Healing factor, restore 10 HP per round while your health is below 30. Psychonaut. You're an avid lover, lover of the expanding conscious and somehow even yields positive. Guts, six. Amplifier, psionic damage. Influence. Reputation in all wings, plus 25. Ooh, rising star. Might do uh, this one right here. Plus five psionic damage. Or rising star. Let's take amplifier. For now. There's a lot of good ones there though. Employee of the month. Plus one charisma. Plus 20. Plus two skill points per level. This other one here would be pretty good too. The... Plus three skill points per level. That's five skill points every level. All right, let's save. Not in the firing line. Oops. Seventy one percent right here. Oh, missed. Act hunting the big rat. Reaching the attack range. Everybody goes about their business. Suspect something. Let's have them go crazy. Weak. Oh god. Missed. Miss. Oh. I 
Attack. Attack. Critical hit. Nice. Oof. I mean, we're just fighting some rats. <laughs> Shouldn't be too difficult, but hey, you never know. Oh my god, of course he, he dodges the next one. Really? Oh. This abruptly ends every time. Oh wait, there's a trap on it, right? Trap discovered, yeah. At least we discover them before we open them. Okay, let's try going to... Let's go up here. Let's let's see what happens. The main alley. Kinda nervous. And... Okay. Go back down. Alright, this time we're gonna go up to the checkpoint. Oh, nice. Blackwing employee. Uh oh. There's turrets are outside there. Control panel. Access denied. Ammunition box. Military grade med kit. Locker. Hacking software package. Required ability rank. What are you doing, step bro? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. So many bots. Selection of popular computer programs providing unauthorized. It doesn't tell you what you need though. It says something out of 15, but like what? Hacking, hacking software package. Insufficient score. Required ability rank 15 out of 25. 25 of what? Tell me. Tell me why. I don't know what I need. Use terminal. Access denied. Access denied. Way blocked. Is this door unlocked? Nope. I mean, it is locked. Uh. I guess we're going back down then. Right? Not like we have anything else, really. One second, Chad. I'm just checking something.
I had to make a quick change. Okay, uh, ladder to light vehicles parking lot. Let's see about this. Uh, so we're over here, door to guard, manhole, manhole. What is our plan? And contact the team for uh, find out my story. Uh, I'm like nervous to move anywhere because the second I move, I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> so. That's what I'm trying not to do. And it's like hard to see what's where. Boxes. Let's if we find like that key or whatever it is to hack into this thing. Can we open this door at all? Use door unlock. I could get into this area that would be perfect but I should have saved my thing that I used on this shattered door to open up that one I wasn't thinking about that at the time ventilation great let's see salmon get through there main entrance we can try going here I mean, it looks like if you, hopefully I don't jinx this, but it looks like if you go through manholes most of the time. Oh God, get back in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say is most of the time they don't automatically show, uh, 
You're not gonna die right away. Okay. Parking lot. Silver wing employee. Black wing employee. I mean, we can find out what happens if I move. We can try it, technically. Let's just save beforehand. Okay, so when you're in this mode, you can actually see whether they can see you or not. Um, Link. Bobby, where the hell are you? Over. Bobby, I really need your help. Help. Uh, listen closely to the walk and talkie. I should have listened. The second we would walk into that, we would die. Probably. Well, actually, let's find out. Really? Really? Huh. Interesting. As long as you're not in the thing, I won't see you. There's ventilation access. Try right, going down here. I'm amazed we haven't died yet. Behind the vent, okay. What about the main elevator? Can we like actually go through that? Attention. The lockdown mode is activated. The door is blocked. Talk to the employee on the entry point too. Control panel. We really picked up the comm link and then it just stopped. <laughs> We listened to it and it stopped talking. Nashville's main elevator doors open with a drawn out screech. A harsh smell comes from the dim, dirty compartment. As you step onto the elevator platform, you notice a woman in silver wing uniform. She's standing in the corner facing the wall, head down. The stranger ignores your question. You examine the chevron on her jacket sleeve. Your eyes are drawn to her hands where dozens of tiny lights are moving. The stranger makes no reaction. She looks weird. Oh, God. Her face is completely slack, as though she were under the influence of a powerful anesthetic. There's a thud. Something heavy falls down. You reflexively jump aside. I'm just in time. A body 
lands where you were standing a moment ago with an unpleasant crunch. And then another one, right next to it. People begin to fall onto the elevator platform from the darkness of the shaft above. The elevator platform is shaking. A speaker on the wall comes alive. Caution, overload. Please vacate the platform. Caution, overload. Please vacate. The strained overhead cable snaps oh God. with a blaring twang. Do you nothing fail to except leap from panic. the platform in time. It plummets. Whatever <laughs> remains of its emergency braking we need mechanism muscle or deafness. Unbearable. You scream as loudly as you can. The elevator car comes to a sudden halt as it crashes into something soft with a loud splash. You stagger to your feet. The elevator door opens on. Welcome to Nashville. <laughs> oh, great. Knocked out. Enraged. Silverwing employee. I don't think we need to be in a uh, stealth mode right here. Public terminal. Click on the status of the entrance. Door is locked. Enter open to unlock. Open. Menu. Bulletin board. Announcements for the staff. Read one. Next announcement. Or welcome. Die, I hate you. Thank you for your time. Code, Code red. red. General alert. Ventilation hatch. Black wing employee. Quest updated. Consider this note my official report. Uh, head of security, take full responsibility for all the decisions. Final protocols, lock the door. I will remain here. I act as my duty, but I cannot, I don't know what else to do until my family. My story. So for, I, uh, Survive. Remember, there's no other elevator to the surface. When you're done here, you'll have to look for a way out. Oh, like. Security room door. Whip servo shell. Nice. Unlock the safe. Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life will be forfeit. We only have a few abilities. Weapons. High tech weapon. Uh contraptions. Shiv. Assault rifle, ammo, bad ammo. Dun 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 dun. dun. Can I use with servo shell equipped? But what about this? Terminal. Office cabinet. Office cabinet.
Did I already go into this room? Kit Forte, briefcase, security room key, magazine, Elevator right there. Dusty air duct. Broken vending machine. Wait, can we take stuff from it? Give the vending Who's machine the a shake. Who's the rock? Oh, you should know who the rock is. You interrupt the rock. The rock will be the guy who gets shake that it a bit harder. Shoes and whoop your ass. Jesus, dude. Notebook. Did I read this? Uh, inspection in full group. Confiscated. CCTV monitors. Elevator terminal. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we'll be heading up in a second here, but before we do that, uh, I'm going to go eat something real quick. So I'm just gonna hit save and I will be 